Welcome to my channel. Santa Claus is coming to town and normally we leave him milk and cookies. But today I thought Santa deserved something special this holiday season. So today I am making bite-sized versions of my favorite desserts. Today I am making a red velvet cake bite. I'm also making a carrot cake with salted caramel bite. And lastly, I am making a lemon blueberry cheesecake bite, just in case Santa or you need a little carb overload to get you through this holiday season. You guys ready to make this? I know you are. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's all be honest. The majority of us love sweets, but I know I sometimes have a tendency to overindulge. You attempt to only eat one slice of cake and end up eating half of it. And I low-key get embarrassed. I get the itis, I get sleepy. It's no bueno for any of us. But today I'm trying to save the sweet tooths out there so we will no longer feel guilty for eating the food that we love. I'm taking the desserts that we all love so much and making them into bite-sized edibles so we don't feel as guilty eating all those carbs and sugary deliciousness. Today, we are making red velvet cake bites, carrot cake with salted caramel bites, and lemon blueberry cheesecake bites. Mmm. Smell good, huh? Yeah. Tastes good. For the red velvet cake bites, you'll need one box of red velvet cake mix, one and a quarter cup of water, three eggs, a half a cup of vegetable oil. These are all required ingredients listed on the back of the cake box one 16 ounce package of cream cheese frosting, and one pound of almond bark. Ingredients are all here. Let's do this. Preheat your oven to 350. We'll start by making our cake according to the box instructions. Add cake mix to a large bowl. Add your eggs, your water. Next, vegetable oil. Beat it until all mixed together. I'm using a hand mixer. Use whatever you have available. Once the mixture is completely combined, spray a baking dish. Pour in your batter and bake for 25 minutes. Let the cake cool completely. Now we're gonna crumble our cake into a large bowl. Add in your cream cheese frosting. I'll add in a half a cup at a time. I don't want it to be super soggy or wet. Roll your mixture into small balls. I use a tablespoon to measure my mixture and ensure that all my balls are consistent. Once all your bites are formed, freeze them for an hour. Now we're gonna melt our almond bark in the microwave. I microwave the chocolate for one minute. Then I do 30 second increments until all the chocolate is melted. If the chocolate seems too thick once it's melted, add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil to thin it out, and more if needed until you meet your desired consistency. Now, let's dip your bites in the melted chocolate. I chose to finish mine by drizzling them in melted milk chocolate, but that step's optional. You get about 40 bites out of this recipe. Now, for the carrot cake with salted caramel, you need one box of carrot cake mix, one cup of water, three eggs, a half a cup of vegetable oil, one 14 ounce package of cream cheese, and a 12 ounce bag of white baking chocolates. For the caramel, you'll also need a half a cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and three tablespoons of heavy cream. All ingredients are here. Let's make it. Preheat your oven to 350. Add cake mix to a large bowl. Add your vegetable oil. Water goes in next. Add in three eggs. Mix well together with the whisk or hand mixer. Once mixture is smooth and at your desired consistency, spray your baking dish. Pour in your batter and bake for 35 minutes. Let your cake cool. Once it's cool, we're gonna crumble the cake in a large bowl. Again, adding your cream cheese, half a cup at a time. Once your mixture is wet enough to hold shape, we'll roll our bites. Freeze the bites for two hours. While that's in the freezer, we'll make our caramel. Melt your butter in a small saucepan. Once your butter has melted, add in your brown sugar. Whisk until combined. Once your caramel starts to bubble, add in your cream. And keep on whisking y'all until it's smooth. Add in one fourth teaspoon of salt and put that mixture to the side to cool down. We'll melt our chocolate in the microwave like before. Remove our bites from the freezer. Dip your bites in the melted chocolate. Now drizzle with your homemade caramel. 
And this will get you also about 40 bites from the recipe. And there it is, my carrot cake with salted caramel bites. Now, for the lemon blueberry cheesecake bites, you'll need a half a cup of fresh or frozen blueberries, an eight ounce package of cream cheese, two tablespoons of softened butter, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of powdered sugar, the zest and juice from one lemon, and 12 ounces of white melting chocolate. I prefer white chocolate, I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. Choose whatever you like, go for it. Everything you need is here, let's make it. I start out by smashing my thawed out frozen blueberries. You can also use fresh blueberries or even blueberry pie filling if you like, totally up to you. Add in your cream cheese. Next, add in your powdered sugar, vanilla extract, zest your lemon, juice from your lemon, add in your butter, blend all those ingredients together. Once the mixture is smooth, place in the freezer for about two hours. Remove your mixture from the freezer. I use a small cookie scoop to form my bites. I got about 15 bites out of this. Once you've scooped out all your bites, freeze for an additional two hours. Melt your chocolate in the microwave. Dip the frozen cheesecake bites into melted chocolate. I top mine with blueberries. That step is optional. These bites are best served cold. Otherwise, the filling will soften. After all that hard work, you have these red velvet cake bites, carrot cake with salted caramel bites, and these lemon blueberry cheesecake bites. These are perfect ways to fight any sweet craving you may have. Perfect, portion controlled, delicious desserts. You won't miss that big slice of cake, unless you eat them all. Hey guys, I got more holiday recipes coming up for you. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share. Also, talk to me. I love to hear from you guys. Follow me on social media at Nibble with Neck. I can't wait to hear from you. Have a good day.